It's insane. He's got crazy ladders. Oh, hey, Vance. Uh, not much, not much. Hey, are you uh, coming up for this? In which case, I'm going to let Scotty do this. I uh, had fun, everybody. Take care. All right. Okay, so we have... What's up, guys? How's fun, it what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have Thunder Gaming K9 versus Master Mario. Um, I'm assuming they are adjusting stuff for audio purposes. Yeah, it I looks like they're trying to plug a speaker in or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Like, you know, you, you want to make sure you can hear the audio as much as possible. Yeah, That's really important. Game audio, in my opinion, is the most important thing you need to listen to in the game. To hear sound cues, uh, yeah, that'll yeah. help you out so much. Especially, you know, you get on and you're like, okay, I hear things. And, like, there's a lot of things that are timing-based in this game mm -hmm. that I use sound cues for where it's like, okay, well, there's no visual indicator, but it makes a noise before it goes off. Like, yeah, exactly, especially parries. Like, it, it'll oh, my understand. God, yeah. yeah. It, parries is a little bit more visual than audio, but, like, definitely audio is what helps you understand, like, okay, they're going to react very, very quickly to the next move. Um... Parries are so good. They condition your opponent to definitely start respecting you, especially if you're able to parry a lot of your opponent's options. We're in the winner's semis now, so K9 against Master Mario. K9 did. Uh, I did see that K9 beat Shine. Somebody paid Shine to go to those characters. That's all I'm telling you guys tonight. So we'll see. No, he, so she. That's for, <laughs> that's you know, for after this match. If, okay, I was gonna say, if you know the story, man, please tell me. Clear the man's good name. Yeah, we'll, we'll discuss that, but right now we have to be discussing this insane combo that K9 has already got off 63% and counting on Master Mario. Only a trade in Master Mario's favor so far. Pretty much everything turning up K9. Mm -hmm. Think about K9 as a player. I feel like he now exists in that realm to check players. He's like, when you think you're good, can you beat me? Can you get over me? Because that's one of the things Kanan has always been able to do, right? He's able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best in Soka at times. And for him to have a Master Mario at this percent, right? Let's Master Mario know, okay, man, I can't sleep on this guy. I have to give him his respect. Looking for that spacing, the opportunity coming oh in. God. With that combo really kicking out to the fireball, that was really good conversion for Master Mario. Understanding, okay, I got him that far at the ledge. Let's find a way to get back in there. Yeah, and it really doesn't matter how much damage K9's done to Masta if he's able to find that conversion. Unfortunately, Masta getting the sour spot of that hit, he's not going to be able to take it. That whiffed up smash, that's going to be a big punch for Masta. Throws him off stage, gets the flood. K9 without a jump, but he's just going to be able to get on the ledge and jump back into Ooh, center stage. That, look, I respect it. He has the shield. He probably found him on a shield poke or shield broken. I respect it. Yeah, Master's going to be looking for those up smashes at this percent, especially with how much damage K9 shield has been taking. He's going to be in kind of a panic mode. One bad spot dodge, and that'll be it. Or Master <laughs> can just run up and do it. Another opportunity here. I feel like Ooh. that's one thing that Master's getting too comfortable with. And then K9 slash the show respectively. It's like, okay, if you're just going to spam that one move here, I will move to this position, and I will wait for your commitment, because I will be fine. I don't want to lose my stock this way. Yeah, and K9's been finding a lot of these dash attacks in this first game so far. Mm -hmm. Back air. Good opportunity charges flood. Keeps the game pretty even. At this point, Master Mario is looking to just... Play the the runaround mid range game where he's like he spaces himself back, comes in with a fireball, then goes in with the option. The one thing K9 was doing though is like starting off these early combos to put Master Mara on the back foot, forcing Master Mara to start making the approaches here. Great read there on the spot dodge because he's able to get the forwards. I'm sorry, air, uh, directional air dodge. Yeah, and one thing I was gonna point out uh, is that Master Mara has been running in and out of K9's range, mm -hmm. where K9's been using the dash attacks and things to close that gap. But even though he has really good air speed, his ground speed and his run speed isn't that great. So Master's able to kind of weave in and out. But as soon as K9 gets that opening, Ooh, he's gonna take the stock the away. I think no jump on, on Master. One, yep. Being without a jump is like being without a paddle. And honestly, for K9 to call that option out with the forward tilt pretty much puts the stock into K9's hands. And probably the first game here. This yeah. is best of five, so we'll see how it goes down to the ladder. Yeah, but K9, very commanding on this first game. It seems like everything he wants is just working out for him. And there's the roll. He said, I want you to roll. You've done everything I want so far. <laughs> one last thing for me, and I will get it. Taking game number one with a two stock. He told Master Mario, look, man, do, do me this last favor. Just roll for me, and I'll give you a cut of the winning. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that's a, that's a serious <laughs> allegation. If you roll get, today, careful, bro. save yourself five ninety nine, man. If you roll today, you will get a cut of the earnings. I will. I'm asking Mario going to shake it off. Let's, the last time these two actually met that I watched was uh, Grand Finals MSM and K9. Yeah, that was the last one of that last was, season. Yeah, and not only that, Master Mario received a Spirit Bomb power up against K9. So, you know what? No, there's no friends behind Master Mario this time around. It's just Master and K9 in the ring here. K9 with the first point on the board. We'll see how he brings it back. Calls off Master Mario for keeping up those aerial approaches because he knows this man wants to come in and fireball me. 
Yeah, and you know, these, these combos for Ma or for Kane, I rather have just been great. You know, he's finding so much damage off of every single little hit, mm -hmm. and that's kind of the power of Wolf, where everything kind of links together for a while. Yeah. Good in there. It links for a while, and the best part about it too is that Wolf's damage kill up, uh, output it pretty much goes down to the kill output because he's able to exactly. kill you at such early percents. 143. He's caught Master Mario making the same mistake more than once, and he's out there to punish him. Yeah, Good. He, he knew he wanted to roll. Yeah, he's Wolf kind of has it all. Where he's got these early damage, low knockback moves, and then he's got these insane knockback, high, high damage, high safety moves. In things like his forward smash and like yeah. his back throw and things like that, where he's gonna be able to get these early stocks, but it's not gonna be the most risky option. Exactly. Okay, this man up in the skies. Tell him, tell him that Rashido was around the corner if you just wait enough for the stream to end. Go for the up. You put him off the stage. No flood. This time he checks what K9's option is gonna be at the ledge here. I like that he tried to make the call, but K9 was just one step ahead. Yeah, I mean, Master's gaining a lot of momentum with these rising up airs, but. Kane, he's still not able to kill Kana. No. Nice. For it. Down throw this man for the mix up. Oh, get him with the down there, but not it. That was a great reaction on Master. A little mix up right there. Check his DI. He knows he's going to be DIing in, so that down there is going to connect. But Kana, with great reaction, his DI perfect to keep himself alive. Yeah. People talk about people talk about vibe checks these days, man. DI checks are the real meta. Oh, yeah. Well, that's been around since, like, Smash 4 Falcon. Like, <laughs> that's grab true. at the so ledge, true. like. Grab the yeah. ledge, mix your opponent's DI, man. You know they got it wrong because they're so used to the one that kills. Good parry, nice. K9 keeping up the space in here, 106% to Master Mario. All K9 do, has to do is play his cards right, and pretty much the stock is his, but he finally lets up by putting out the blaster. This lives Master Mario with such a nice oh, he's going opening, all the way up. That's and he puts this man up the top. What <laughs> an early stock there for Master. He knows Wolf likes to howl at the moon. That's what he told him, that's where you're going. Went back here, nicely spaced, get the cross up and no punish. Come on there, Ooh, oh, read this man's landing. He looks- Press a button, please, and thank you. <laughs> read this man's landing, dude. He looks like he landed at the moon at the wrong time. All right. Still quite an even game, despite Master getting such an early stock off of K9, sitting at even percent. Yo, Master Mario, I know you're wearing the tag, man, but are you okay? Cause it looked like Kane making, making sure you hold on the wrong controller. Yeah, I mean, right now it's looking like the oh. only wolf. Like, Mass is worried about Buster Wolf, but it looks like the wolf he should be worried about is Kane. No tech, no option. Kane seals it out there with a down smash. Yo, Master, wake up. Wake up, bro. F find the song on the playlist, man. Play, play the anime opening theme. Here's family. Look at that. That's how you know they're coming to back this man up. They smell a murder from across the room. Fred Fred is here to support. All right. Hey, Fred, bring that one guy over here. B bring the fam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Master said no. He said no, man. I got this guy in the ring by myself. All right, well, let's see how it plays out. The last time here, the situation was that Master Mario did not tech, so K9 went with the down smash to punish him option. And even though he didn't tech the bounce back from Master Mario, I allowed him to get the down smash. Yep, 45%. Both of these players opening up some really strong combos, mm -hmm. but it looks like Master's going to be the one to continue to get these openings up throw, up air, into the up mm -hmm. B, but it's not going to kill. This is pretty crucial for Master Mario with K9 up two games so far already. That was oh. good, that was good, that was good. He knew he was going to go for the, either the option of the forward smash or the grab. And Master Mar knew what the punish was right there. The yeah, unfortunately for Master, that wasn't the sweet spot, so it's not going to kill at that percent. Mm -hmm. Forward air. Good. I like the fact that he knew after the forward air, Wolf would usually typically like the combo here. So even though Master Mar's on the ground, he knows he was up for the punish. I can I'm playing incredibly patient right there, just walking back to center stage. Says, Master, you can come and throw something at me. Because if I walk into an up smash right now, it's going to cost a stock. Yeah, most definitely. Fourth, that was the same man. I thought a fourth throw was coming up, but he went for the down throw, went for the nair. That's a tough trade, but Kana will come back on the stage here regardless. Yeah, that was actually a great reversal right there from Master. Saw that K9 wire drop off with a nair, get the soft hit to Edge Garm, mm -hmm. and instead just double jump back at him and beat it out. Oh, Kana looking for the whip punish here. He sends Master Mario, keeps coming in, and he sends the spot dodge with the up smash. That was a great option. I want to call it out. 
I mean, you can tell Kaden is furious. He said you guys put Kong Kong on the PR? Where is this man? <laughs> Wait, I've done more work than him. Forward air, nice. Starts off the combo this way. That's what we saw Masamaro earlier. He knew that he was going to stick to the ground and go for an anti but Masamaro responds in kind, putting this man up on the stage. There are the platforms from PS2. Can he put this man off the stage, but he puts him at the ledge here for the forward throw. Down throw, okay. Ooh, We're nice. mixing up everything today. I can with that jump, but he's going to be able to wolf flash back to the ledge. Mass is still applying so much pressure here. I felt that was a misinput. He went for the down air. I was like, hold on. I, I, I thought that was probably a misinput. I want to say he wanted to frame with the down air, but then kind of said, never mind, I don't want to commit to this because if I hold too far forward and go off stage, I might die. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I kind of like did it in place to me. He's like, hold on. I, great, be, yeah. great low recovery right there, narrowly avoiding Master's Fireball. I like, he's looking for the spacing. He wants Master Mario to make the first move, and he wants to make sure he's spaced with that forward to or the back air with the response. Yeah, I mean, if you remember our first season, uh, we have the SpongeBob PR video, and K9's was uh, just standing there. Menacingly. menacingly. He knows, That's man. kind of the name of the game this set. Massa finally able to break ground here, get the back throw, and take the second sock off of K9. He's waiting for the landing. I like it. He knows. Wait, that's if he's death. not coming for the landing, that is death. He went for the jump. He also called out Massimara for trying to call landing on the stage. He said, man, you can't come here. I hold the ground. Oh, he gets the whip punish, but no confirm off the forward, and he missed it. That would have been crucial for Kanan to put Massimara on such a bigger back foot. He would put this man off the stage, but Massimara says, if you miss the confirms, it's fine. I'll find mine. Safety to the oh, ledge here. And a great pivot grab right there covers the roll in. Now Master has to try and find a way to the ground. Mm, oh, it's pressure. Unsafe, but no punish. That forward slash looks a lot more safer than I thought, man. <laughs> Hold the phone. Yeah. Another back air. He's got Master on the heels, man. K9 looked like he wanted to go out there and get an edge guard, but Master using his up the early, gonna just prevent it. He has to find a way off this ledge. He's sitting at 130%. K9 can find the stock and the set right here. Yeah, all Master has to do is really just hold center stage. Great opportunity, like I said, hold center stage, man, as things will slowly come back around. He missed the back air. I would have loved to have seen him cover the roll option from K9. K9's kind of been used to those back airs fighting from Zenyu way back when. A single laser right there. Oh, it's 164% Ooh, and yeah. that'll be it. A 3-0 for K9. Yeah, man. Gives him the fist bump. 30 and a fist bump already. K9. I was going to tell him, man, check your PR status, ladies and gentlemen. I'm coming back.